everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I'm going to talk about the classic books that I am going to be putting into like a TBR jar and I'll be pulling one every now and then to uh, see what I might try to read that are in my classics. <laughs> I filmed this earlier and then I couldn't find my footage so I'm doing it again. But anyway, what I've planned is to like draw out a couple of choices that way I'm a kind of a moody person and I feel like if I tell myself you have to read these classics then I'm not gonna want to read them that's just how I am so I thought if I pulled out a couple gave myself a choice that maybe one of them will get read then the other ones can go back in the jar but that's sort of it but I thought I would just um, let you know what uh, classics I'm going to have in my jar uh, they could change. I could add more as, you know, I feel like it. If I find something else I think I might want to read, I'll put it in the jar. But these are just ones that I've kind of went through and I've gotten a few suggestions from people and I've watched people talk about these books or something and I thought, you know, I might as well put them on here. One thing I have realized is classic books are chunky and so, uh... If I get a sort of a chunky one, I, I might give myself more than one month. I am not going to do like I did uh, this month and try to uh, read The Count of Monte Cristo, which is on my classics list, but I pulled it out. I didn't pull it out, but I already knew I was going to be doing this one for January. And I'm trying to read it all in the whole month of January, and it's like 1,200 pages, and that is like really hard, especially when I have a whole bunch of other books that I need to get to. So I'm probably not going to do that again. Uh, I will break up the chunky ones into like a couple of months and just kind of take my time with them. But uh, yeah, so this is one that is on my list because I am currently reading it. And to go with that one, I also have uh, The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. I don't really know a whole lot about these uh, classics, except for I know that people like them or that they just looked interesting, that I've heard about them at one point or another. I do know I've seen a movie about this, and I've always liked The Three Musketeers movie, but I'm kind of curious about how different the book is. And hoping it's got a little bit of action in it. Because this one don't. <laughs> I would like to do a reread of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is like probably my favorite classic that I've read. It's actually the first classic that I've ever read. I probably read this like 20 years ago or so. We know. <laughs> And so, yeah, I'd like to reread. I've watched the movie versions, like all different kinds of versions, multiple times. I really, really like the story. And so, I just like to reread the actual book. And so, I am hoping to get to this at one point in time. This year. I'm going to attempt Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. I don't know a whole lot about this except for it's about Scarlet and Rhett and Civil War era type of book, I think. And, uh,. I know I've watched the movie and I absolutely hated the end and so I've never even tried to attempt to read the book. But, you know, I, I kind of want to be able to say I have read this book and so I'm going to go ahead and try it. Uh, National Velvet by Ignig Bog Bagnold. I, some of these names I'm not going to pronounce right. All I know about it is about a 14 year old who wishes for a horse like really bad and she ends up with like an unwanted uh, piebald horse and it ends up being really good at like jumping and stuff so I don't know I like a good horse story and uh, I know somebody I don't know if it was in the discord group or if it was on maybe listed on my because I've asked people for recommendations before I don't know but I know somebody liked that book and I looked it up and I thought it sounded interesting so went with it uh, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson I've never read that 
I I think I've watched a, a movie about it or something like a long time ago or maybe even a cartoon. I don't know. But I know I've watched something and I know the gist of it. I know it's got Long John Silver and it's about a kid named Jim Hawkins. Something like that. And uh, yeah, that's about all I know. Uh, the Phantom of the Opera by Gaston, um, I don't know how you say his last name, Leroux, Leroux, something like that. Uh, I've, I've watched musical versions of this, but I believe it was Mr. Francy who said that the book version is actually a lot more horror than like the musical versions. And so now I'm really tempt I'm really curious about it, and so it has tempted me, and I want to give it a try. Hopefully I can get through it. Uh, yeah, I'm just super curious because, of course, it's like kind of a horror, and I've always liked the musical, and like I know the, the basics of it, and so we'll see. Another one is that I have on here is just a short story. But it yeah it takes up like this like a little bitty spot here in my uh, Oscar Wilde book that I have that has the picture of Dorian Gray in it, and that's uh, the Canterville Ghost by um, Oscar Wilde. I've always wanted to read this story and I don't know why I haven't ever did it. So I thought maybe if I put it on here, I might pull it out and I might read it. I think whenever I do that one, I could probably fit in more than one um, classic in that month, <laughs> since it's a short story. I have uh, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, and I know this is kind of a kind of a dark romance of some sort, and that's about all I know. Thank goodness that it's short. <laughs> and I don't know. I I don't even know if I've ever even watched a version of this, but I I know I I heard about it, and I know about the Heathcliff and all that kind of stuff, but I've just never read it. So I'm gonna give it a try. Animal Farm by uh, George Orwell. I always heard about this story and I've just wanted to give it a try just so I can say that I've read Animal Farm. I know, I think a lot of people had to read it like when they were younger and my high school, like we didn't read hardly anything like classics or anything. The only book I ever remember reading is The Red Badge of Courage and I absolutely hated that book. <laughs> But that's the only one I can ever remember. Like, all these that a lot of people said that they read whenever they were, like, growing up. I, I've never read them, so I'm going to give it a try. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I have read this, so it'll be a reread, but, like, it's been probably, like, about the same 20 years. Because <laughs> I probably read it around the same time I read Jane Eyre. And, uh, it, I liked, I remember liking it. So I'm kind of curious about how I'll feel about it now, and I thought, you know, I'll go ahead and give it a reread. And along with that, I would like to try Bleak House and David Copperfield. And Oliver Twist, because I didn't ever finish it, so I need to try Oliver Twist again. I got, I, I wasn't, like, I wasn't enjoying it. It just, so many things happened at the end of the year, I just never got around to finishing it. So I would like to redo that one start start over probably and just finish that one up middle march by george elliott again this one i know it's a movie and i even think i've watched some of the movie but then i was like i should really read the book and so i decided to put it on here and i know it's a pretty chunky one too and i know uh, people that i know like it so i'm hoping that i'll like it we'll see anna karina by leo tolstoy I know that one's a chunky one. I'm not really sure how I'll feel about this one. I'm not sure about, uh, you know, the story and everything, but I'll give it a try. It's just never really been one that's been, you know, one of those that I've wanted to read. But somebody at my church found out that I was a reader and that I've never read it. And she's like, I can't believe you've never read it. And she's like, you need to read it. So I put it on the list and we'll see. Crime and Punishment by, I don't know how you say his name either, Fedor, Fedor, uh, Dostoevsky, or <laughs> one of the Russian guys, uh, yeah, I wasn't really, that one was never really on my radar either, but, um, 
Nancy from the Killing Time with Cozy's Discord. She read it and she was talking about it. And it kind of made me kind of curious about it. I know it's a, about it. I think about a guy who commits a crime, a murder. And at first he's like, he doesn't really care. But then he kind of starts to get a conscience or something. And so I'm kind of curious about that one. It sounds like something that I would enjoy. Just hopefully. Another very chunky one that I know will probably take me a while to read if I decide to read it. And that is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. I, I cannot. My mouth just does not do that. Names. Uh, anyway, yeah, that one is bigger than the Count of Monte Cristo, and I'm thinking like, oh my goodness, this thing is a chunker. So this one is like a hundred pages or more <laughs> than that one, so I'm like, oh my goodness. What is it about the classics and them having to write them like this big? And then also uh, The Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne and also 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. They're kind of like, I guess, classic sci-fi adventures. So I'm not really sure because I don't really jive very well with sci-fi stuff, but I thought I would give the classic ones a try and see how it goes. I... We'll say, disclaimer, if I'm not liking some of these, I may just not read them, but we're going to give them at least a try. Test of the Dubervilles by Thomas Harding. And I actually watched part of a movie on that. I, just, I never finished it. It wasn't because I didn't like it. I just thought, again, maybe I should read the source material. And I know it's about, it's about a lady who gets in trouble, kind of, and her cousin was not a nice person, and she needs to, she meets somebody else, but does she tell him her secret, or, or not, kind of a thing, and so we'll see. And North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, and Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell, I put on here because I know that some people like the this lady Elizabeth Gaskell. I've not really, I've never read anything. I was supposed to read uh, Gothic Tales by her last year, but I just never got around to it. And I believe it's Breezy Ann who likes this. Uh, she has a YouTube channel, but she's uh, kind of off and on because she's really, really busy. But she does have one, so I'll link it below. But I know, I'm pretty sure she's the one that liked uh, Elizabeth Gaskell and mentioned those and so I'm going to try Watership Down by Richard Adam uh, not quite sure about this one either uh, I do know it's about rabbits and some kind of I don't know it's just all about rabbits like some kind of rabbit world or some sort <laughs> I don't know uh, again guy from church that I know he's like you've never read it you need to read it and so I was like okay so I put it on the list um Villetta by Charlotte Bronte I figured I should try something else by Charlotte Bronte since I really like Jane Eyre and so I'm gonna give that a try and Madame Bovary by Gustav Falubert Falubert I Bear with me on the names because I probably am not pronouncing half of these right. Anyway, uh, I just thought that kind of, it seemed like an interesting story. I looked it up. It's got a lot of controversy <laughs> and I think that was why I was kind of curious about that one. Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. I wanted to try this one last year but I never got around to it. And also... Um, I think the same author does the, the Woman in White, and I was going to read that one last year, and I didn't. So maybe this will be the year that I will give one of these a try. The Tenants of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Thought I might as well throw another Bronte on here, since I had the other two. Might as well get that one on here. And I've heard good things about that one, so I thought I'd give it a try. Don't really know anything about it. Also, um, I would like to do some rereads of Jane Austen and uh, 
one that I've only read one time, and so I really don't have a good grasp of the story because it's a long time ago when I read it, is North Anger Abbey. And um, I, I think that's like her more gothic, gothic tale. And I'd also like to reread Emma. And so we'll do that one by Jane Austen. And one that's not technically, I don't necessarily think of classic, maybe more like modern classic, maybe. And that is um, The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I've always wanted to read that and I haven't. And so I thought I would put it on my list of books that I should try. If you have a favorite classic that I didn't mention, um, feel free to put it in the comments. And if it sounds like something that I might think is interesting, I will go ahead and pop it in the TBR jar as well. I'm going to just cut these out and fold them up and stick them in the jar. And we'll see what happens. So that is my list of classics. And my goal is to at least get to like five classics this year. So like I said, I will pull them out and we'll see how it goes. If it takes me more than one month to read one of these, it's fine. I just want to try to read more classics. And that was one of my goals for this year, to read more classics. And I have to try to make it a way that maybe I will read them. And that's why I'm hoping like the TBR jar pulls. If you would like to buddy read any of these classics, let me know. And then I might prioritize them. And instead of pulling it out, or whatever, I will just go ahead and read that classic with somebody if they want to. Um, I'm always open to buddy reads, especially with classics, because it seems like it's a lot easier if you're reading it with somebody that you can see like, okay, I'm really not getting this. It's really been helpful with The Count of Monte Cristo because there was a few times when I would have gave up on it or would have DNF'd it. I just really wasn't into it. And people would be like, oh no, keep going. This stuff really does, you know, come into play later if you just kind of keep going. And so it's kind of nice to have a, a buddy partner for that, a buddy reading partner. So yeah, if any of these, like I said, you know, just leave a comment. And um, I'll also link my Discord below. And that's where I do a lot of my buddy reading. So if you uh, are into Discord, you can join my Discord. Um, if you're not, uh, we can always try to figure out a different way of buddy reading together. Uh, I know there's like Voxer and some other things, so just let me know. And so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!